Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you're well. Today's video is something I don't do very often and that is a clean with me. Um, part of the reason I don't do these videos very often is because I don't like cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> don't enjoy it at all. Up until very recently I had a cleaner to help because my mobility was such that I was really struggling to do anything low. I couldn't do floors, I can't, I still can't kneel but I was, I'm a little bit better than I was. Um, that situation has now changed and now it's all just back down to me which is why it's not getting done as well or as often. <laughs> <laughs> but last weekend I was having friends to visit and so therefore you suddenly look at your home through through the eyes of your visitors and go oh let's sort this out. I hope you enjoy this video. I should warn you in advance it contains a lot of footage of a fat bird with edema of the legs wearing shorts. Possibly not suitable for while you're eating. <laughs> Don't come at me for those legs. You can't possibly hate them as much as I do. Enjoy the video. Let's begin by looking at the scene of devastation that I need to deal with. Beginning with my bedroom, I need to change the sheets on my bed so that somebody else can use my bed this weekend. Obviously I need to empty bins and vacuum and generally tidy all of this assorted gubbins that just, just accumulates as I, as I live my life. I, I wish I was a tidy minded person, I wish I was the kind of person who put stuff away straight away. I'm just not and Natalie's even worse. Out into the hallway we can see laundry waiting to go downstairs and a bag of recycling. We're not even going in Natalie's room, swerve so away from that. At the top of the stairs that's the dog's bed and then this is the office. Although I filmed this for the beginning of this video I didn't actually get round to doing the office and I didn't need to because nobody was going to go in there over the weekend so I kind of just closed closed my mind to that one, turned a blind eye, moved on. Uh, the stairs are going to need vacuuming and the dog's bed is going to need tidy up. Excuse the dodgy camel work by the way, I don't know what happened there. Um, please also excuse the stair carpet, that has been on the list of things to deal with for a long time now. Needs replacing and I just haven't got round to having a, a man come and do the measurements. As soon as the measurements are done the job can be done. Downstairs hallway will need sweeping, vacuuming, um, dusting and general tidying. Pile of books there waiting for the charity shop. Random drink that Natalie left as she came in the door one day and the dog's jumpers and towels. Into the front room there's a lot of stuff just hanging around in here. There's uh, some packages waiting to be opened, the table has become a dumping ground again. There's the gazebo that I borrowed for the weekend television that my mum asked me to get rid of and, and some other stuff and generally mostly just tidying and vacuuming and moving out all the stuff that shouldn't be there. That's Kaiki's bed with his cooling mat on there because it was very hot weather at the time I filmed this. And then moving into the kitchen, random stuff just dumped again. Everywhere you go just random stuff that's just been put down instead of put away. This is my failing. It's not putting things away. That um, just needs tidying a bit under the stairs. Do you remember I did that and it all looked lovely? That's all got away from me again. Recycling. I'm the only person in this house who takes the recycling out. It is a bone of contention. Apparently nobody else likes doing it. I don't like doing it. I don't know why they think I do. Kitchen. Again, very much out of hand at the moment. Stuff been put down instead of put away. And generally all the usual kitchen things need doing, in addition to the floor needs a really, really good scrub. I've got laundry that needs dealing with. The bathroom is, again, a general state of untidiness. There's me in the mirror. So yeah, it's all just, it's all just got a bit out of hand and it all needs dealing with. So I made a start by getting the first load of laundry out of the machine and onto the washing line. It was a really nice drying day, so that was one good point. On and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying to... You give me a sign, give me a sign, oh, give me a sign. Moving on to the bedroom, I had already stripped the sheets from the bed, so now I just went round and had a bit of a tidy up, took some stuff out that had been hanging around for a long time in that room and shouldn't be there, opened the window, got some fresh air blowing through. 
dusted off a layer of the dog fur from the bedside table. Honestly, this is such a hairy house. <laughs> And here comes the next load for the washing machine. That I should be with. That I should be. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. And it's time for the dreaded recycling. I don't know why I always have to do it. You push me, then you pull me back in. So give me a sign, give me a sign, baby just give me a sign, baby give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you and here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go all in, so give me a sign. And now it really is time to do the kitchen floor. These pieces of carpet trim have been under the dog's bowls for a while and I've been meaning to pull them up and deal with them. When I pulled this one up I discovered the backing had all stuck to the floor so they all went in the bin. I'm going to try and get some vinyl mats for the dog's bowls instead. They need something under their bowls but carpet obviously isn't the way forward. Ready for the colour of this water? I don't know if this is satisfying or just disgusting. I think it's probably just disgusting. One go over with the mop was plainly not going to be enough for a floor that was in that state, so I actually went over it three times, three changes of water before I was satisfied that it was actually clean. And 
another load of washing ready to go out on the line.
Here we go, Natalie's done the bathroom, floor's still wet. So I didn't film the bathroom being done because Nat did that. And then kitchen, I'm still gonna go over the floor again with the other mop. This floor never really looks good because it's so old, it's been down 30 plus years and uh, desperately needs redoing. But I'm gonna go over it with the other mop one more time. But I'm sure you will agree. There's my tripod, let's get that out of the way. I'm sure you will agree that it looks better than it did earlier on. It's never going to be perfect in my house. All tidied and hoovered. Natalie eating a tripod. No one playing. <laughs> All tidied and hoovered in here. Might be a little bit warm for Buddy. He's definitely alive, folks. He's just flat out in the heat. <laughs> Um, everything left on the table is birthday stuff for tomorrow, so that's why that's all still there. Um, and telly, I'm hoping I can give the telly away to somebody this weekend. <laughs> Nick, you're off. <laughs> There's Nat, looking all um, fresh. <laughs> I am relatively fresh. You are relatively fresh. And then, oh, that one's escaped again. As fast as you put dog toys away in this house, they get back out. All the toys are away, everything's tidied up out here. I've hoovered the stairs. There's some stuff on the stairs that's going up with me now. Made the dog's bed, although how long that'll last is your guess as good as mine. And this hallway carpet never looks better because it's disgustingly stained. We were going to have it replaced this summer and then I didn't get around to it. And now it seems like it's nearly winter and barely worth it. I haven't yet done anything in my office, but nobody's sleeping in there till tomorrow. So I can get up tomorrow morning and do that. I'm running out of time because I've got to take that to a hospital appointment. And... Natalie's room is her own concern, I don't do that. And then, my room, all clean and fresh, ready for Lex. Oh. I hope you have enjoyed this more than I have, because I've hated every second of it. <laughs> I'm getting in the shower now. And I'll see you all soon for more of whatever it is I do here. Take care, bye for now. <laughs>